you are a liar, a big liar. Here is talking about Adam and how God created Adam, about the uh, mankind in general. How, sir, don't waste my time and read and you translate. Your English is good and better than mine. Is that fair, guys? Now, as you see in these videos, you know we might be tough sometime, you know, being harsh a little bit, but the whole idea is to show you all of you how Muslims do lie when it's come to their religion. You will notice in here, uh, you did not see the whole debate, the whole debate it was for four hours. After four hours, starting it by calling me all kind of names, for sure, starting with the liar, at the end he agreed that Islam allowed him to marry his own daughter. And by the way, I was not debating him about marrying his daughter, I was debating him about having sex with his daughter, which is the same, because anyway, when you marry your daughter, you are allowed to have sex with your daughter. So, in the beginning he refused the whole idea, he said, this is not true, this is a lie, he accused me with all kinds of names. You will see, at the end of the debate, he agreed that his God allowed him to have sex with his daughter by marrying her, which means, you will not do it only once and repent as sin, you are going to do it every day to your daughter as a wife legally officially in the front of all Muslims and nobody can say this is wrong your own daughter from your blood listen carefully and watch etc but when it is in the case of the uh, in the case of adultery it is not considered uh, here he's saying this according to this view it is not considered uh, your own daughter because you are not married or anyway it's not your uh, uh, legally yours it's like somebody I don't want to go into that basically you uh, it becomes it becomes possible to marry one's own daughter according to this view but that is not the view of everybody that's what I'm trying to say here uh, uh, my mic indeed لا يحرم الزنا لا let me read and and translate don't read that <laughs> wow let me read it فلا يحرم الزنا بنت أم ولا أم بنت لا يحرم if a man begets a daughter out of adultery this is the whole idea if this daughter is because of adultery he committed adultery with his mother he had this daughter is this daughter he can marry her that's the idea the zina his where, where it says you can marry her? Tell me, you know, listen, Abu, honest, honest to, to God, listen, honest to my Lord. Everybody in the room knew that you are a liar. Simply, we can, we can play other Muslim tapes. We have a lot of tapes. All of you are a bunch of potatoes. We can expose you Muslims, all of you. And you know what? Are you saying in Islam it's allowed in you to marry your daughter? He think he is making it better. <laughs> so, you are trying to convince us that in Islam you can marry your daughter and screw her every day? Your mic? Mashallah, mashallah. <laughs> Well, uh, there we are. You're not letting me complete. فَلَا يُحَرِّمُ You read it wrong. فَلَا يُحَرِّمُ الزِّنَا لَا يُحَرِّمُ Not لَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا you, This is your problem, uh, Christian Prince. يُحَرِّمُ Notice it is you put it with the تَشْكِيل يُحَرِّمُ Notice it. لَا يُحَرِّمُ الزِّنَا If a man commits adultery and begets a daughter, that does not make that daughter his daughter because it is not his real legal daughter legally he is committed adultery and there is the legal issue that we have there is an agreement disagreement around here some scholars say it remains he is not allowed to marry her you said that this is according to the most approved scholars correct you just did say it. this is the most opinion of islam so we, which one we will take the most opinion or the least opinion always muslims they say we should go with the most Suddenly, we should go with the list. The most and the most correct, according to your words, it is the one who approved that. 
So now we do, you are trying to say, okay, you know, we Muslims allowed in ourselves to go and marry our daughters just because simply they are daughters out of marriage. Because in Islam, a daughter out of marriage, she is not a daughter, so I can have sex with her. Because marriage with your daughter, it means you are having sex with your daughter. So Islam allowed you to have sex with your daughter and to have kids from your daughter. What kind of religion this religion is, Mr. Abu Yermaik? Well, <laughs> Christian Prince, this is exactly what you said is true. Islam is saying that if you commit adultery, when you beget a daughter, you are allowed Christian Prince, you can marry her. If that is what you like, do it. Yeah, you might tell me not all Muslims will do that, no problem. I don't, you know, I believe that some, some people, they are human, they will not go and have sex with their daughters. Some they are animals. So your God is allowed in you, this is the main point. Your God is allowed in you to have sex with your daughter. Is that a religion of God or religion of Satan? Your mind. Be honest. Yes, Christian Prince, I'm explaining to you, but you're not you don't want people to understand what I'm saying. I'm saying if you uh, uh, happen to commit adultery with a wo woman and you have a child from that woman, a daughter, and the daughter grows, and if you want to marry that daughter, you are free, you can do that, marry her, you can, you are allowed to. But you sh uh, uh, the adultery in the first place is haram, you'll be killed. Do you understand the point? Adultery is haram. You get killed if you do adultery. Not a true. You will be killed if you do adultery with married women. Only. Right? And Muslims are doing adultery all over and nobody getting killed anyway. And your prophet, he was the first. If he want to start with the one who do adultery should be killed, he should start with himself. But this is a different topic now. So now, what we are getting, that's, that's it. We are done. Guys, all of you, you heard Mr. Abu Shab agreed that in Islam you can marry your daughter. Your daughter from your blood she can be in your bed, open her legs for you, and excuse my words, and you screw her. This is the religion of God. Sex with your own daughter from your blood. And remember, in here it's mean, as long he is not forbidden from marrying the daughter, he can marry the mother. So you can marry the mother and the daughter and have them in the same bed. Because both are not forbidding. It's up to the one you start with her first. Which one you choose? You want to do the woman? But the woman already you did because she is your daughter from her. So now it is time to screw the daughter. This is how wonderful is the religion of Islam. And now after we heard this, I want to ask the Western especially those who don't care about they will go with who in their life if you have a Muslim boyfriend and he have sex with you and you get a bread net did you hear what he can do to his daughter legally officially he can have sex with his daughter so let us make it so clear you will be the most foolish women Western women, if you ever, ever trusted a Muslim man for your daughter or your life.